Hi Latin students, my name is Ms. Bryn Coley and we're going to walk through screencasting, in particular screencasting as it relates to your Latin project. After this presentation, I hope you'll have a better understanding of the technical requirements, as well as get a sense of how to record, edit, and save your presentation. So you're being asked to create a screencast that articulates the research and analysis you do on your particular subject. Specifically, you're being asked to do that using Google Slides that you will then narrate and walk through and record the screen as you're doing that. I'm going to explain how to do that, but hopefully this screencast will be kind of a meta demonstration because I'm using Google Slides and I'm using my webcam and Screencast-O-Matic to narrate and tell you about my Google Slides, which is what you're being asked to do, essentially. Specifically, um, some of the requirements include that your face is visible throughout the screencast, that you introduce yourself in Latin, speak clearly enough for people to understand you, sound excited and enthusiastic about your own presentation, and refer to Google Slides as visual aids. So let me show you what I mean by that. In this case, I've included a, a drawing that I found in the Stanford Digital Archive of uh, the Colosseum. If you were including something like this in your presentation, you might say, this pencil drawing from 1865 of the Colosseum was done by Machete. And in it, we can see, insert whatever your analysis of, this drawing is. Um, and so that gives you an idea of what I mean when I say refer to your slides. Um, also very important to cite your work. You'll see that I cite all information that is not my own in this presentation, which you are being asked to do. So how do you record your screen? I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. It's a really simple and easy to use app. This video gives you a two minute overview of what it is and how to use it. Welcome to Screencast-O-Matic, a fast, free, and easy-to-use screen and webcam recorder used by millions worldwide. Let's get started. Click here to start recording and then launch the recorder. If it's your first time, you will be prompted to download and install the software. Once installed, it's just one click to launch. You can record the screen, webcam, or both. I'm using both. You can record as many videos as you want up to 15 minutes long. Upgrade to our video editor and get unlimited recording times. Drag or resize the frame to record any part of your screen. Or choose pre-selects such as standard HD sizes and full screen. With the webcam selected, you can drag and resize the webcam frame within the recording area. You can choose your microphone to narrate your video. Now hit record and all the action inside the frame will be captured. Pause, resume, preview, or restart any of your recordings. Click done and easily trim the start and end of your video. Then add royalty free music to excite your audience. It's that simple. You can save your video file to your desktop post it on screencastomatic.com or publish directly to YouTube. When you upgrade, you get more uploading options. After your video is uploaded, get a link to copy or use quick share buttons to easily share to Facebook and Twitter. For those who want more out of Screencast-O-Matic, Video Editor gives access to tools that allow you to zoom, add text and images, animate overlays, blur sections, and much more. Join in on the fun. Create, share, and experience video with Screencast-O-Matic. That's just a brief overview of what you can do with Screencast-O-Matic. Notice I included a citation because I did not make that video myself. Okay, you have an idea of what you're supposed to do, the requirements, the tools, but you may feel overwhelmed and not know where to begin. Here's kind of a step-by-step -step that I used when I created this presentation. I did all of my research 
put it all together, analyzed it, and then I made my Google slide presentation first. After that, I wrote a script for each slide, and then I practiced and practiced and practiced, walking through the slides, doing my narration, and finally, I started recording it using the screen recording app with the face cam option on. Um, and it takes, it took me several times to actually get to this final recording. Um, and the more you do it, the better it usually gets. Then you can edit as needed and save your file. If you need help or have questions, don't hesitate to email Ms. Wenger or myself at si underscore librarians at siprep.org or live chat with us from any SI library webpage Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And finally, here is my Works Cited page. If you have questions about how to format it and how to create it, you can um, check out our other videos on Works Cited page on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.